You've likely heard about a recent price spike for EpiPens. Well, we're learning tonight that the price has also jumped for another life-saving drug. News 3's Jessica Arp explains how the combination is driving up costs for emergency responders. Jess? Well, a fire department assistant chief tells us tonight that the cost of medical supplies alone, including epinephrine and the overdose-reversing drug naloxone, are driving costs far outside their budget. Two of the most life-saving drugs carried on Madison Fire Department rigs are epinephrine, used to treat allergic reactions, and naloxone, or Narcan, used to reverse a heroin overdose. What you're really looking at is it truly can be a matter of life and death. And running the numbers, the costs have drastically increased on both. In 2011, the department was paying just more than $6 for a 30 milligram epi bottle. Now it's $32, a 424% increase. For Narcan, the price has gone from $15 a dose to more than $36. Overall, it's caused the department to anticipate going over budget by 53% this year for just medical supplies. Currently, we're absorbing that through other line items in our budget but this is getting really difficult regarding how much we can absorb. The problem is of special interest to Representative John Nygren, who has helped draft laws to get Narcan into more hands to help save lives. It definitely concerns that if the supply, if the cost is to a point where uh, it makes it difficult for agencies to be able to afford it, uh, then it isn't going to be in the right hand at the right time. To that end, he'd like the state to possibly look into buying Narcan in bulk to cut costs for local governments and find out if the costs are because of a supply shortage or profiteering. We're not 100 percent sure which the uh, which side of that is. We've actually drafted a letter uh, to the pharmaceutical industry asking them in a time of crisis uh, to do everything within their power to make sure that this is a drug that's affordable for, for the consumers. Now, we also wondered if this Narcan issue was spilling over into some of the nonprofits who provide it for free to families who are dealing with addiction. The AIDS Resource Center of Wisconsin told us that they have a good supply at a reasonable cost right now, but they aren't sure what may happen in the future. Jessica Arp reporting from the News Center tonight. Thank you, Jessica.